Welcome to Jazz City Building with the Old Boar. This is City Skylines 2. And I'm just taking my time because we are trying to plan for a big, big city. I haven't looked up what the population limit is for City Skylines 2. This is where I built a road. Um, and I don't want these forestry trucks to take this through the neighborhood, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. You can see this forestry industry here. And what that means is we can put in more people. See if there's any noise pollution here. Just around the actual industry itself. A little building anyway. And to get to a large city and might just take this straight over. You can barely see the circle around the forest industry there. I might just do it this way. Ended up getting a tree there. How you would do this? Probably about right there. I think it actually comes from here. And this one curves out to here. And your commercial is coming up this road all the way to here. And this is a four lane road. You don't want to connect these up. You can do whatever you want to do in the game, but 
Um, it would be better not to. That's too close to the um, residential. It's a nice little area for something. Don't quite know what yet. This is all people in here. And we don't have a park. It's gonna go right here. We really overdid the electricity and the water there. High school is okay, college is okay, elementary is okay. Map legend for, we have an administration building over there. Police is okay. Hmm, building level. Okay. Not seeing any red here. It was a neat little thing with CS1 where you could have uh, local produce really nice um, you know but if I started a new game I don't think I'd use it you do need to use it if you're building a really big city worker availability I've never seen this before Terrain color high, low worker availability. Poorly educated, uneducated, educated. We've got 9,000 open positions. Maybe at a large city, we can build a um, university. This is our leisure. These are all our parks. And, you know, believe it or not, you need to give your um, industrial some park.
to make them happy as well. They have to go to work, and when they get off for lunch, they need a little place to eat. And relax and breathe some fresh air. And it incre it creates um I actually don't know how it works in CS2. This is what is this? This is a building that needs to be dezoned. This one as well. You used to have to have a mod to take care of all your abandoned buildings, but I'm not really finding I would need a mod. This needs to be dezoned as well. Just leave that space there. I hope all these big buildings don't go abandoned because it would take away from the look there of the downtown area. This is a house. We'll just come back in. We have demand for it. This could be as pathways or pedestrian pathways. I think they're even in here. The other thing that it could be through here um, is tiny commercial. I just made that up. I don't. I, I don't know of anywhere in the game where you have uh, tiny commercial. I want to put those together. little shops This isn't connected to the road.
Then fill this in with trees. It's here. It's not the best place to put the commercial. You should keep that on that four lane road behind over here, but um, this uh, commercial demand could help us get to the next level where we can buy more tiles. Last time we put in a taxi um, depot, sure like to have a camera mod so I'm not zipping around the screen. I hope I'm not making you dizzy. Look at all the taxis working. 56,000 a month, but I think it generates revenue. I would think it does. That's land value. Citizen wealth. We're about average. A little bit above the rest of the world, let's put it that way. Some of these are in the green. Um, areas by wealth. And this is happiness. Do we have any unhappiness? These big buildings over here. That's where everybody works, so depending on how much you like work, that might be realistic. Hmm, this gives ground pollution. I did not know that. Yeah, we took uh, terrain tools and covered over the water pollution for our pumps that we were pooping sewage into the river here. Did I say pumping or pooping? This, an abandoned building.
yeah, while you are building out your city and keeping a really close eye on your services, police, fire, education, etc., because, you know, the game isn't taking me any faster than this if I'm planning correctly. Well, I'm slow, okay? Uh, what do we got here? This is three lane down to two. Let's do that. And we've got some kind of a crazy bottleneck here. Oh, this might be what some of the creators are whining about. This kind of thing. I don't care. This may actually be helping the city. I'm talking about the traffic in the inside of the city. These people, I don't know whether their happiness counts. So, and, you know, who cares? This is really the best city builder uh, I've ever played, and I have played a lot of them. Yeah, I think this is industrial trash here. Yeah, you could be helping out your city. Uh, for them being backed up over here. I don't know. This is something. They'll get it fixed. They'll work on it. Um, this is a very complex database, algorithm. Every single car has sims in it. Let's see. Might not be able to tell what these are. They're outside the city limits. Yeah, these are just cars coming in. And some of them could be coming in as new citizens. See, these don't, these don't tell you anything. No, oh, they do. Okay, wait a minute. I had my I had the wrong thing. Yeah, they could be coming in uh new people, private vehicle. Okay, well, maybe their their happiness is affecting our traffic. But for that much traffic, a negative one, I guess. I'm assuming this goes a little bit further into the negatives. And you know, I'd look at this, but I don't care. Just don't care. They're not burning, they're not dying, they're not sick. Uh, apparently, they're not unemployed. There's no major crisis happening with him. They're just in traffic and, you know, yeah, it's part of living. And let's see, major commercial demand. I'm thinking that this will be the bus terminal. 
once we get to um, a big city. And I accidentally saw how you can actually cheese your experience. Uh, you know, the game is brand new. Haven't even played through it once. Um, and that is the point. You're trying to make this happen. And if you cheese your progression by, let's just say I put a big hospital here and I delete it and I put another big hospital, I delete it, I get partial money back. You have no idea how that could affect game mechanics. Uh, I mean, even if you wanted to cheese, uh, I'm not the old cheese, I'm the old boar. But if you wanted to do that, you can do that. Um, but I just don't want to do that. I want to play the game. I'm just kind of looking around down on the ground here. To check out the city. I rent. And we've put in low rent housing, uh, but I'm not for sure if you get to see medium density. See, low rent housing is high density residential, and those things go abandoned. I think I have them over here. You're supposed to know what those are. That would probably be my only suggestion to the developers is to let this icon tell us, but you can go over here and look it up and it's this one. And we could put some more of this in. See, this hasn't filled in yet. This is strange. It's tennis court, okay. It's kind of cartoony and funny in a new way. I'm very fortunate to have a computer that I can play the game on. I'm sure that a lot of people are complaining about the performance, but you know, the game comes out in 2023. Uh, you're probably not expected to play it on a computer that is three to five years old because 
the technology of CPUs and computers grows or advances so quickly. And that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, he's happy. Mm. He's content. He's sick. Did you hear that? I'm sorry about that. What can I do about this? Not much. Caught it at the, the college cafeteria, I guess. So thank you for watching The Old War Plays City Skylines 2. That's the library. Take care now.